Hi, this is Kevin from the Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to look at a few harder questions about the binomial distribution, the sort of thing you might uh, see in an AS level or an uh, A level uh, maths exam. So if you haven't done the binomial distribution at all yet, I recommend going back to my introductory videos on this and then coming back to this one later. Um, otherwise, I hope this is useful. Don't forget to uh, like uh, and subscribe, and there's loads more over on the website too. I made a load of videos on binomial distributions now, and I'll put them all into a playlist so you can see them all easily there as well. So in question one, we want to simplify x plus y to the four minus x minus y to the four. So it's a fourth power, so we're going to use the fourth row of uh, Pascal's triangle here, this one, one, four, six, four, one, remembering the first row is the zero row, and um, for the coefficients. So we start with um, x to the four, and then we have four times x cubed times y, plus six times x squared times y squared, plus four x times y cubed, uh, plus y to the four. Remember, increasing the powers of y as we go along and decreasing the powers of x. Go back to my more introductory videos if you're not sure how to get this basic expansion. Um, so that's x plus y to the four, and I'm going to subtract x minus y to the four, and because I know how this is going to work out, I'm going to subtract it sort of on a row below here. So x minus y to the four would be exactly the same expansion, but this time all of the odd powers of y are going to be uh, negative, right? So I get minus four x cubed y plus six x squared y squared minus four x y cubed plus y to the four. And then you can see that when we do the subtraction here, all of the even powers um, here cancel out, right? So x to the 4 minus x to the 4, and the odd powers combine. So I'm going to get 4 plus 4 is 8x cubed y plus 8xy cubed, and everything else cancels out nicely. Uh, so I could also factorize this as 8xy times x squared plus y squared for a neat answer. Okay. So in part b, to evaluate uh, root 3 plus root 2 to the power of 4 um, minus root 3 minus root 2 to the power of 4, all I've got to do is, in the previous expansion, take x equals the square root of 3 and y equals the square root of 2 and substitute it in. So I get 8 root 3 root 2 times root 3 squared is 3 plus root 2 squared is 2. So here... I just get 40 times root 3 times root 2, which is root 6. Right, okay, so let's have a go at question 2 then. It says find the coefficient of 1 over x squared in the expansion of 2 over x squared minus 3x, that should say, to the power of 4. Okay, so, um, so if you were to multiply this out, uh, we'd get lots of different terms. And so the first thing to do is just to think about how do we get a term 2 over x squared minus uh, 3x to the 4 giving 1 over x squared. So like the first term here would be 2 over x squared all to the power of 4. Um, so there's some combination here of these and these that would give 1 over x squared. And if you think about it, it's going to be the term uh, that has uh, 2 over x squared squared and then the minus 3x squared, right? Because that will give me 1 over x to the 4 and this will be times x squared. So overall that's a 1 over x squared. So you see for these sorts of questions we don't need to work out the whole binomial expansion. Okay, and it's the fourth power and it's uh, the second to the, well the third term but the term with powers 2 and 2. So it's, uh, you know, 4 choose 2 here third term counting from zero, right? Uh, or the second term, we might just say. Right, so uh, now 4 choose 2, again, we can get that from Pascal's triangle or from the calculator here. So this is 4 choose 0, 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2. Uh, so that's 6, or you could also just use the, the formula, you know, 4 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial, uh, if you want to as well, to get 24 over 4, which is 6. Right, so this is 6 times 4 over x to the 4 times 9x squared. So this is just 6 times 4 times 9 
times 1 over x squared and 6 times 4 times 9 uh, is the same as uh, 6 cubed here, so that's uh, 216 times 1 over x squared or 216 over x squared. So actually the answer to this question, the coefficient of 1 over x squared here, will be 216. So you see, we don't always have to work out the entire binomial expansion just to work out a particular term, if that's all we're interested in. Right, uh, question 3 then, it says find uh, 1.01 to the power of 5 to 3 decimal places without using a calculator. Okay, so um, we have to choose the binomial expansion here, and it makes sense to think about 1 plus x to the power of 5, okay? Um, because what I can do then is take x equals 0 0.01, and then this would be the same as 1.01 to the power of 5. So again, we just have, we just want one uh, extra row of Pascal's triangle here, right? So this one here for the x to the 5 term. Uh, so actually this whole expansion uh, would be 1 plus 5x plus 10x squared plus 10x cubed plus 5x to the 4 plus x to the 5. Okay, so you see, if I wanted an exact value of 1 plus uh, 1.01 to the 5, I can do 1 plus 0 0.01 to the 5. So I get 1 plus 5 times 0 0.01 plus 10 times 0 0.01 squared plus 10 times 0 0.01 cubed, etc. Um, so I can keep going, right? And this would give me the exact value of 1.01 to the 5, and it's not actually too hard to work out. But if we think about doing this just to three decimal places, think about the size of these terms, right? This is 1 plus this is 0 0.05, then the next one here, 10 times 0 0.01 squared. Okay, so you know, 0 0.01 squared would be 0 0.001, but and then times it by 10, so I just get 0 0.001. Um, and if you think about it, all of these other terms are not going to matter to three decimal places. So I don't have to work them out, right? This one here, 10 times 0 0.01 cubed, it's going to have you know, two extra zeros in it uh, you know, com uh, c compared to this one. So actually, I can just maybe say here something like, we usually say something like higher order terms or, or things that don't matter. I just mean there's some other things here that don't matter uh, to three decimal places. So to three decimal places, this is just 1.051. Um, Okay, right. Um, okay, last question then. This is again quite a sort of exam style uh, question. Um, given that 1 plus a times x to the n is 1 plus 30x plus 375x squared, find the value of a and n. Right, so this is a bit harder because we don't have a particular value of n for the binomial expansion. So we've got to think about this in general. Okay, so what happens when I expand 1 plus ax to the power of n. Okay, well, um, so again, if we think about, you know, Pascal's triangle uh, a little bit more generally, like, uh, rather than with the actual numbers in it, right, thinking about it as these binomial coefficients, right, I've got 0, choose 0, 1, choose 0, 1, choose 1, 2, choose 0, 2, choose 1, 2, choose 2, etc., right? Um, so, you know, the, uh, the first entry here on the diagonal is always 1, isn't it? And actually the next one is then the kind of the row the row number, right? So it's 1, 2, 3, etc. So the first two terms, so in the general row, would be 1n, right? And then the third entry um, is the row number choose 2, right? So, so, so this would be like um, uh, n choose 2. Right, so every row starts like this, 1, n, and n choose 2. Okay, if you like, that's the same as n choose 0, n choose 1, n choose 2. Right? n choose 0 is always 1, n choose 1 is always n. Right, so I get uh, here 1, okay, that's great, that's in the expansion, plus the first coefficient is going to be n, and then it's times like 1 to the n minus 1 times ax, so I just get a n times x, and then for the next term I'm going to have n choose 2, 
times 1 to the n minus 2, and then times uh, ax squared. Okay, so uh, okay, so let's look at this first term, right? So actually, if I want this to be 1 plus 30x plus 375x squared, to begin with, I can say, well, look, the 30x has to equal the a n x, so that means that 30 has to be equal to a times n, right? Uh, and if I want these two terms to match up, I need that 375 is n choose 2 times uh, well, a squared. Okay. So we just need to think about what uh, this n choose 2 looks like in general. Okay, so using the formula um, for n choose 2, right, that's uh, you know, n choose 2 here is going to be n factorial over 2 factorial times n minus 2 factorial. That's just the n factorial and the n minus 2 factorial cancel here just to leave n times n minus 1 and the 2 factorial is 2. Okay, so actually this one just becomes uh, n n minus 1 over 2 times a squared is equal to 375, right? So actually we've got two simultaneous equations here for a and n that we can solve, right? So if we take the first one and write a equals 30 over n, then the second one here just becomes 375 equals n n minus 1 over 2 times 30 over n all squared. So, um, so actually I've got 300, well let's multiply both sides by the 2, so that gives me 750, um, and there's 2 cancels then, and then I've got here an n cancelling with this one, so I'm going to just have m minus 1 over n times 900, so uh, 750 n equals 900 times m minus 1, so 750 n is 900 n minus 900, and um, you could do this in less steps if you want to, fewer steps. So that's 900 equals 150n, and then n is 900 over 150, which is 6. And then of course I can go back to this original equation, 30 equals a times n. Okay, so, uh, so that means that a would be 30 over 6, uh, which would be 5. Okay, so, um, so actually it must be that if the first two terms of the expansion are 30x here and 375x squared, it must have been 1 plus uh, 5x all to the power of 6.